I will still go back to the finance. It seems to be <laughs> it seems to be the one thing that we uh we always come back here to you know to to talk about. I would really like to see us attend these conferences and uh not talk about funds again and uh so that we move forward, we move forward and we make the we achieve the desired the desired goals that we need to achieve. As a as a as a as a world, as countries, as continents, you know, like move forward. Yeah, the UNEP uh, uh, gap report came out last week and said that uh, collectively. Uh, uh, we're only a third of the way where we need to be with uh, Paris commitments to avoid dangerous climate change. So some of the concerns that are emerging are uh, pre-2020 commitments, are they, uh, uh, can we go further and uh, enhance our ambitions even before uh, uh, Paris uh, commitments kick in in 2020? And I think that's going to be a significant source of debate, as is climate finance, which by all accounts, is wholly inadequate. I'm looking at the debate about how to ramp up your ambitions to be one of the most difficult issues there. And second to that, perhaps, is the debate on how funding could be made available. Seems like funding mechanisms are most often just bleach and review. We want something that is really, that is really the tangible in terms of support for us developing countries.